At the time that uh, the Department of Justice, at your behest or your involvement, gave Paul Combetta uh, immunity, did you, did you do so uh, knowing about all of the posts he had on Reddit and capturing all of those posts and correspondence where he was asking how to wipe or completely erase on behalf of a very a VVIP, so to speak? I'm not sure sitting here. I, my recollection is, and I'll, and I'll check this and fix it if I'm wrong, that we had some awareness of the Reddit posts. I don't know whether our folks had read them all or not. We had a pretty good understanding of what we thought he had done, but, but that's my best recollection. Okay. In the last week, in mass, he's been deleting them from Reddit posts. Is that consistent with uh, preserving evidence? Uh, and, I, and I say that because there's still an ongoing uh, interest by Congress and only in spite of Reddit's own senior, what they call flack team, trying to hide it, only because a few people caught it, do we even know about it? And is this, uh, this and other committees interested in getting the, the backups that may exist on these deletions? Uh, you know, uh, I guess my question to you is, uh, is he destroy, destroying evidence relevant to uh, congressional inquiries? And I'll answer it for you. Yes, he is. And what are you going to do about it? That's not something I can comment on. Well, let me go into something that concerns this body uh, in a very specific way. Uh, as a former chairman issuing subpoenas, I issued a subpoena. And additionally, I, I issued preserved letters. In addition to that, now Chairman uh, Chaffetz issued what were effectively preserved letters. Some of them were directly to Hillary Rodham Clinton while she was still secretary. Others, the subpoena in 2013 was to Secretary Kerry. Uh, these individuals destroyed documents pursuant or, or took it out of federal custody pursuant to our subpoena and our discovery. As a result, they committed crimes. My question to you is, when I was a, a, a chairman and I wanted to grant immunity to somebody, I had to go notice the Department of Justice and you were consulted. Isn't that correct? In a particular matter? In any matter. I don't know whether the FBI is consulted in that circumstance. Okay. For, your, for the record, yes. The Department of Justice does not grant immunity without checking with federal law enforcement to see whether it will impact any ongoing investigation. That's the reason we have a requirement to give notice. When the reverse was occurring, you were granting, handing out like candy, according to some, uh, immunity, did you or, to your knowledge, Department of Justice uh, confer with Chairman uh, Goodlatte, Chairman Chaffetz, Chairman Smith, or any of the other chairmen who had ongoing subpoenas and investigations? Not to my knowledge. So isn't there a double standard that when you granted immunity to these five individuals, you took them out of the reach of prosecution for crimes committed related to destruction of documents or withholding or other crimes? pursuant to congressional subpoenas? I don't think anybody was given transactional immunity. Oh, really? Now, we have not allowed to make your immunities public, but I'm going to take the privilege of making one part of it public. I read them. You gave immunity from destruction to both of those attorneys, not just turning them over, the documents over, specifically destruction. You did the same thing with these other, these other two individuals. Uh, Brian and, uh, and Paul uh, Cabetta. You gave them immunity from destruction. Yeah, I don't think, well, again, I could always be wrong, but I don't have them in front of me either. Well, because you don't let us take them out of the skiff, it's a little hard for us, too. But the fact is, when well, you read I them. My answer, I, I'm pretty sure that what was granted was use immunity. Uh, in the case of those two people, coextensive with 18 U.S.C. 6001, which means no statement you make can be used against you directly or indirectly. Transactional immunity is sometimes given also by prosecutors, says you will not be prosecuted in any event for this set of facts. I don't think there was any transactional immunity. Well, when I read for both of the attorneys that w immunity was granted, it's in both cases said destruction in addition to the turning over. Why was that? Why would you believe that was necessary or do you believe that would be necessary? You wanted the document. You wanted the physical evidence. Why did you have to give them immunity from destruction of, of materials? And because my time is expiring, it, it, to you, when you look into it and hopefully get back to this committee, I'd like to know, does that immunity apply only to destruction on the uh, computers delivered so that other destructions by, by Cheryl Mills could still be prosecuted? 
Yeah, again, I, my recollection is no transactional immunity was given. A protection of statements was given to the, to the, the Combetta guy and uh, Mr. Pagliano. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.